All right, so now I'm gonna grab a curling iron and just finish off the style. I'm gonna actually add a little bit of wave to this side, and then I'm gonna pin the other side up. So this is about a one inch curling iron. Um, one thing to remember when you're curling hair, especially short hair, is you wanna avoid getting little dent marks. And so what I do is I try to hold my curling iron really, really loosely. I'm not clamping it down tightly. One thing that I always think of is I put myself in the mind frame that I'm a ballerina and I'm trying to hold it as elegantly as I can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this kind of top portion here, this temple section. I'm gonna pull each piece straight out to the side and I'm just gonna curl it away from the face. I like to start at the root and work my way down to the tip. Traditionally, we would start at the end and work our way up, but the reason that this works a little bit better is the hair is the softest and the newest at the root, and so it needs a little bit more time to be heated up. And the ends tend to be the oldest part of our hair and take to the curl really quickly. So you're giving it a more even curl if you do it this way. So now that I've curled that top section, I'm gonna curl this bottom and I'm gonna go in the opposite direction. I'm gonna go towards us. Again, kind of starting in the middle. Just heating it for a little bit, ignoring the pieces on the top. So you get a really nice shape in there. Really run your hands through it. And you can touch up anything that you need to touch up in the bangs that way too. Again, super, super light touch. Sometimes you just need to touch up a little end piece. Just trying to give the hair a little bit of movement over to the side. I like these kind of little wild bits here. So now I'm gonna take and I'm going to bobby pin the other side really tightly to the head. And again, I'm just doing that because it's really gonna emphasize that this side is a little fuller and a little curlier. So I'm taking my bobby pins, and with short hair, I like to use these really, really tiny bobby pins. They're pretty easy to find almost anywhere. They're maybe an inch long instead of two inches. These are a little bit easier to control and they kind of blend seamlessly into the hair. Yeah. I'm just gonna finish now with a light spray of beach spray, and then I'm actually going to just kind of tossle the hair between my hands. I love using a beach spray or a textured spray on short hair because it just gives so much interesting dimension to the hair. So instead of seeing just a silhouette of the hair, you see very interesting details within. But you could use your favorite paste or smoothing wax or anything like that to get the same effect. And then just situate it where you want it. And that's a cute style that you can do with a side bang and a bob.